What's up everybody? Maggie Nolan here with Living Right Photography. You can chew. I love it. Finish eating. It's okay. Take your time. It's really fine. Blooper. What? <laughs> What's up everybody? Maggie Nolan here with Living Rain Photography. Thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. As you know, we are a Baltimore Top 10 wedding photography team. I shoot alongside my husband and my business partner, Patrick. Uh, we have an associate team, Melissa, who's over here eating. Hilarious. I love her. My brother Sam's hanging out with us today. He's a YouTuber too. Check him out. Working title reacts. What, what? You don't want me to, to advertise you? I mean, if you want. Uh, many of you who watched last week's video I shared a little bit about what you do in the off season prepping for your 2022 year today I'm tying it in with what uh, the world is calling the wedding boom if you are a uh, bride a groom um, if you're a potential couple you're planning your wedding this is something that is really important for you guys to kind of listen and like keep your ear open to if you're a wedding vendor venue um, you, you've, I'm sure you've heard of the phrase the wedding boom if you haven't definitely keep keep watching I want to share a little bit about it uh, brides.com put a really great article out just about what it is what is the wedding boom um, and the easiest way to tell like explain what the wedding boom is is because of suppressed and because weddings couldn't actually happen in 2020 because of the pandemic and even some of in, into 2021 the number of couples getting married in 2022 and 2023, it is a surge. It is supposedly to date one of the largest wedding years to date, supposedly in 40 years. Uh, a lot of people are freaking out. They can't get their date. They can't get their venues. Uh, they, their vendors that they've been following on Instagram for years are already booked out. And so um, I wanted to just come on here and just share a little bit about what it actually could mean for your wedding or for your business. So first and foremost, what is the wedding boom? The wedding boom literally is the explosion or the surplus of weddings happening within a certain time window. Uh, it could be 2022 into 2023. Obviously, weddings normally happen on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. Thanks to the pandemic, we've been seeing them on Mondays and on Thursdays. We've seen elopements. We've seen uh, an increase in courthouse weddings. But now that restrictions are being lifted, that people are getting more comfortable with COVID negative tests, things like that, weddings are back and, back and happening. Just be aware that the demand for venues and wedding dates and vendors is at the highest it's ever been. Uh, for perfect example, Patrick and I, we're fully booked for the year. We aren't taking any more weddings. The weddings we are taking on as a company are going underneath our associate team so that our company can basically have two weddings out on the same day. Uh, I think the biggest thing just to point out is that you guys just have to be ready to make decisions and make them quickly. If you are a couple getting married, please just be aware that like vendors are busy. However, you've got to be able to make a decision quick because one week you may have inquired for a date and the next week it's gone. So you just gotta be prepared, know what you want and make a decision. I'm really sorry to have to talk about this. I'm not gonna get political with it, but the reality is that there is inflation. Costs for everything have increased. Businesses have to pay their bills. Uh, venues and vendors didn't have work for a good portion of 2020 and that impacted 2021 bookkeeping into 2022. And everyone's obviously trying to run healthy businesses you know, there's prep work there's gear investment there's still monthly bills you know like internet and phone and gallery platform so um, just to keep that in mind when you're booking people you know booking your venue like they have to pay for the heat and pay for electricity it's not just uh, you know it's it's not as simple as you think so just be prepared for inflated costs might be a hard thing to do but you've got to be flexible with dates and I'm even saying this to the photographers watching this some of you have said you know we're absolutely not taking any Sunday weddings you might have to take a Sunday or two uh, everyone just has to be flexible with dates because things are limited uh, that's where I'm gonna encourage you if you have an associate team or don't have an associate team consider what it would look like to launch that this year I don't think you'll regret it there's enough work for all of us and you just want to make sure you're finding the right clients and able to meet those needs. On that same note, don't overcommit. Part of the reason that Patrick and I 
capped this year is because we have kids and we actually own other businesses. Patrick owns a business in Virginia. We have an Airbnb. Uh, there's just things that we have to tend to in those businesses. So there's just like ramifications for over committing during the wedding boom as a vendor. Okay, a big thing to talk about is the fact that COVID still exists. Some people really don't care about it. Some people are still extremely concerned about it. Regardless, wherever you are on the spectrum, the reality is that you have a wedding that might have 200 people and all those people might think a little bit differently. So you still wanna consider people count. You still wanna consider budget. You might even still wanna consider certain protocols, you know, uh, whether it's a negative COVID test, whether it's mask wearing. So just be sure that you're up to date with mandates or restrictions, or if you're in a state that doesn't have restrictions, then by all means plan your normal day. But just keep that in mind that city to city, uh, country to country, things are gonna be different. Do your homework, do your due diligence, make sure that you're up to date on all of the mandates, restrictions, uh, whatever, anywhere you are going to shoot or work a wedding. All right, guys, I want to just wrap up in saying that the wedding boom is real. Vendors are exhausted already, and it's not even prime wedding season. Uh, we are, people are, are stretched. Their resources are stretched, stretched, their time is stressed. And so um, regardless of what side you're on, whether you're the couple or the vendor, we just want to encourage you to just give lots of grace and patience this season. Uh, I feel like that has been a standard that our company has set for the last two and a half years that uh, none of us have been here before. None of us have been in the middle of a wedding boom. None of us have walked through a pandem pandemic. pandemic. <laughs> none of us have been here before. Uh, there's couples, they've never had to replan their wedding. There's vendors, we've never had to reschedule 35 weddings in a year. So use grace, uh, be patient, um, try not to be a bridezilla on the flip side vendors try not to be entitled or um, you know impatient with uh, your couples they've never done this before either and so guys I hope this is helpful um, the wedding boom doesn't have to be scary if you're prepared and you're ready and you understand going into this year what the wedding boom is and how it affects your business or how it can potentially affect your business thanks so much for watching Next week, you guys, we're going to talk about planning and strategizing the year. Super excited. I'm going to be busting out the, um, what do you call it? The large post-it notes, the to-do list. I'm going to show you uh, how we do client, um, basically a client checklist, all the stops from contract signing all the way to contract fulfillment, um, and how we prep for what will be an awesome year. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week.